Hey everybody, Shelby here from Wood Expressions. Today we're going to be going over the Bobby Fischer official chest clock, powered by DGT. You might ask, why do we say powered by DGT? We actually had DGT make this clock specifically for us. So let's get in. Now when you're looking for a chest clock, you want to find a chest clock that's going to do everything you need. If you're going to be playing in chess tournaments, be it U.S. Chess Federation tournaments, FIDE tournaments, or even just local tournaments that you have at your club, this is a perfect chess clock for you. It has 13 preset time controls and 10 custom time controls. Now, to get to the time controls, you would look on the bottom of the clock and figure out what you want to do. Let's say we want to do a game in five minutes. There's a preset right here under number one, game in five minutes. So we would hit the button right here, turn the clock on, go to preset number one, hit the check mark, and then we're ready to play. When you're ready to play, make sure that you have the side up of the person whose turn it is, and then you hit this button right here. Let's say you're going to do a custom time control, something like a game in 35 with five seconds delay. You would look on the bottom right here. You'd go delay, one control, manual set, which is setting number 20. So again, turn the clock on, go to setting number 20. Select it by hitting check mark. And we want to go game 30. So the flashing zero is okay. Well, we said 35. So let's make it say 35. Now, this is where a lot of people mess up. They think that the second screen is delay. The second screen is actually only four seconds on the control. So this stays at double zero. Then we would have to say game 35, double zero. And then this is where we'd put the delay. The key thing is when it's only showing on one side, that's when the delay is actually being set. We'd want to have it be five seconds. Select, and now we have a game in 35 with a five second delay. Again, find out whoever's turn it is, make sure their lever side is up, and then press the center button. And if you notice, delay right down here flashes until the five seconds is up, and then the time starts counting down. Now let's say you're playing in a major tournament, which has multiple time controls. Something like the Continental Chess Association, a common time control for them is a 40 and two, sudden death in one with 10 second delay. What that means is you get two hours on your clock, and if you hit 40, 40 moves in those two hours, you get an additional hour added to your time and both controls have a 10 second delay. So now, let's turn this over, go to the bottom. For something like that, we'd go to setting number 23, turn it on, setting number 23, and we said 40 and two, so we'd need to make the first screen say two hours. And remember, leave these here double zero because you don't want two hours and five seconds. And then two hours, same thing, leave those double zero. First time delay was 10 seconds. And then the second control was an hour with zero seconds with 10 second time delay. Third control, double zero, double zero. And now we're all set. Again, make sure you have the plunger up on whose turn it is. And when you're ready to start the game, hit the center button. Now let's say you're playing in a FIDE tournament. A typical FIDE tournament is a game in 90 with 30 second increment. Relatively easy to do. If you look down here, one time control with bonus time, Fisher time, manual set, so it'd be setting number 14, which I already have selected. We need to make this say an hour 30, which would be 90 minutes. Remember, double zero, an hour 30, double zero. And then this is a screen where you'd put your increment. We don't need hours for increment or minutes for increment. We need seconds, 30 second increment. And then your clock is all set. Now remember, put the plunger up on the person whose turn it is and hit the button. Now, if you notice, it adds the time. 
hence the increment. Hopefully this is helpful. So to wrap up, the question is, why should you buy this clock? Reason you should buy this clock, made by DGT. It's got a two year warranty. It's got a place here in the United States that you can actually send it back to. Make sure to save your receipt in case something goes wrong. It does all USCF in FIDE settings. It's easy to use and with the black and blue color scheme, it looks One pretty good. One other thing to remember, here at American Chess Equipment and Wood Expressions, we can customize chess clocks. No other place in the United States actually offers full customization of chess clocks. We here spend a bunch of money on a couple machines to where we can actually print directly onto your clock. So think about it this way. When buying from Wood Expressions and American Chess Equipment, you have the ability to get your name, logo, school club, you know, whatever you want on your clock.